It's the Gear Tester here. Welcome to my review of truck EDC gear and equipment. Basic dude stuff. The kind of gear and equipment I think you should carry with you when you go on a road trip, when you find yourself traveling from one place to another, because you never know what's going to happen. America is a massive nation with a large highway system, and you can find yourself in the backwoods broken down, or you can find yourself in standstill traffic with a whole bunch of stuff going on around you. You can find yourself on back roads or encountering emergencies like this fire that you didn't even think about having to encounter. Within this video, I'm gonna try and normalize having gear and equipment in an everyday capacity that you have in your truck or your automobile. This video is actually a review of my buddy's gear that he carries. We were on a family trip spending some time with people we love and care about. We've both driven long distances and we need a little break from being indoors with all the people we love but can sometimes get on our nerves. I'm sure that's never happened to you. So we stepped outside and reviewed the gear he carries in his truck. This is my buddy and we're hanging out for the weekend. And uh, just want to show you guys some of the stuff he has. He's running the back of his pickup truck here. And we just want to normalize uh, men having gear and equipment that could help their families and them uh, and other people stay dry, healthy, warm, and safe. Let's take it away. Cool. So we'll start off with feet. Um, you may have heard in a bunch of places that you don't have lace-up shoes. I like boots. But if you don't have proper lace-up shoes, especially dry shoes, um, you're going to be screwed. Uh, we live in the Pacific Northwest, so that's <laughs> critical uh, for those of you who live in desert areas. My goodness. So start with boots. This is stuff that I have uh, in the front. On the so truck. The venerable oh. Fishkers hatchets. It, it works. Yeah. It's something that works. It's relatively inexpensive to replace. It's relatively easy to sharpen. Again, this is a samurai saw. Uh, you can. I don't know if the you can th see 330 the... Ichiban. Yeah. It works. Again, it's it's like. It's very inexpensive. How much does that cost? I think it was like $33. Yeah. And the hatchet's about that same price, about $33. I was, I was going to get uh, one of the folding saws, very excellent folding saws. And this was recommended by me to other, by other YouTubers. It works. It's lighter weight. It's far less likely to break. The uh, storage yeah, and, is I mean, easy. And this is your vehicle saw. This isn't the one you're taking on a backpacking trip, although you could. And even if you want to, this has yeah. got the little detachable deal. So you can hand it to anybody. Kids can use it. And you're not likely, because it's a pull stroke, it's not one of the push stroke, it's a pull stroke saw, you're not going to cut yourself. Which I, I thought that was great. Um, then we have... Uh, fishing rod. I like fly fishing. Um, all of the things up front typically. So this, are, so this is a fly fishing rod. Yeah, 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 I can pull it out really quick. It's a G Loomis NSX five weight. Um, I won't pull it all the way out, but it's, yeah, cool. I don't want to break it, so I keep it in this. Works. And it's not a spinning rod. It's not a combo where you could do a spinning rod. No, yeah. it's, it's the uh, G Loomis NRX. Sorry, nine there you foot go. five weight. Perfect. And so these are the things that I use. I use these on a regular basis. And so you're already preloaded, so you might throw a sleeping bags, tents, that kind of some food in and go, and you already have a bunch of stuff ready my to roll. My wife and kids and I slept in the back of this last weekend. This is great. My wife got this for me. It works to clean out the back of the truck. works to clean out the front of the truck. I have some WeatherTech mats. You pull them out, get all the crap out as much as possible, and then wipe out the crumbs yep. since kids make messes. Um, ratchet straps, I got some of those. They work for, for cordage. These happen to be cat ratchet straps rated for 1,100 pounds. And those are running at strength. Costco? Yeah, yeah, on sale they were 20 bucks for four. So I, I think a theme you guys are going to see is that a lot, maybe other than, I don't know, how, how expensive is the fishing rod? Uh, this, I worked at Cabela's for a minute, and I got this from their super deals for a ridiculous price. It was like... Okay. Ninety percent off, but I I went with the G Loomis because they have a warranty that um, you break your rod, they send you one. You have thirty days to send back the broken rod yeah. for you know hundred hundred twenty bucks. And I've already used it once because I break. There you stuff. go. But so a theme is that with between the ratchet straps, the saw, the Fisker's hatchet. This is not this is not 
thousands of dollars worth of gear. So if you lost it, if it got stolen out of the back of the right. pickup, it's not the end of the, you know, you're not losing. Now, the boots are a different story. But These, I, well, they are, but they aren't. So these I found for $50 used. The guy uh, used them for one season, so they are beat the crap up. But they work. They have a hole, and I haven't fixed them because... Okay, so once again, you, you, even though stuff may be, may be uh, like the, the buy new price tag might be large, you, you've been careful with how you spent your money. So let's get into your Let's get into your the bin. stuff. All right, toys, plates. There you go. <laughs> uh, shop towels, Do, paper towels, no, shop towels. If you want to... Yeah, those are towels. so much better than they're, paper towels. They're phenomenal. You can use them over and over again. They work for everything in the car. Um, this is my other part of the fishing kit. Uh, I got flies. My little... Just stick it in my pocket. Yeah, so you just got to run down and and take the opportunity to fish a little bit. Right. Some spares. I got some tippet. I got some little bit of uh, weights. I got some um, extra leader. Yeah, It, it awesome. works. And then my reel. Yeah. Cool. Um, so very quickly I can take all of it or I can take just one thing and go get some fish. Good to have a cup. You can get, get metal, uh, preferably steel. If you're going to use it on open flame, don't get aluminum. You'll find out that's a bad idea. Same thing with a the plate. Um, they work. Not, not expensive. Uh, some clothes. Same thing with a dry. Uh, I... I got this at REI on sale. I don't remember which one this is. This is the the only towel you need mini. Norma Dix, <laughs> whatever. I like their little own less, do more. That's Anyway, cool. quick dry towel. It, it's, it's a thing. Again, microfiber cloths. They, they work for everything. A hat. Keep your head warm. One of these I've used... Keep yourself dry. These are also handy to hand out to other people. So what is it? Aren't prepared. Oh, this is a little poncho. Okay. It's okay. Just I was going to say, plastic. that looks like a tablecloth almost. <laughs> well, you can use it for anything. Yeah. It's just a... Okay, but it's a, it's like a, an affordable little uh, emergency rain poncho. Right. And so it's been used. It'll be used again. More of those. Zip ties. Um, a month ago, I helped a guy out who was on his inaugural run with his little uh, camper trailer deal. And his awning was falling down. It's It failed, so he zip-tied it up. But he couldn't go anywhere because his awning would have been you ripped off. You can fix off. a lot of stuff with duct tape, <laughs> a roll of duct tape, and enough zip ties. <laughs> We're about to get there. So again, I have spare dry bags. Um, yeah, so you're able to... More, they're not expensive. Walmart has them. Uh, yeah, the Sea of the Summit ones are maybe more expensive than the Walmart ones. But that's, yeah. that's true. These these were given to me, American Red Cross. You know, people make these. So you could you could collect other gear and equipment along the way and kind of parcel it out into different pouches and bags. A lightweight windbreaker weight range. Cool. That one happens to be 5'11". Uh, wool socks. This is a little toiletry kit. Got... Little hotel soaps, toothbrush, toothpaste, a, a mylar little, kind of emergency blanket. Yep, some. Uh, you can use the. I, I need to get a bigger bandana. You can use those for all sorts of things, medical. Things oh, like I see. Plants. I see. We got some. We got a toothbrush, but then we also have eating utensils, which are really nice. They make <laughs> so, things better, especially when you got kids. Especially when you got kids. And then the little single-use uh, toothbrush thing. So keep, okay. your, keep yourself. Healthy. Then we got a couple of. Shirts, I have a wool Pendleton. So this is more expensive. Again, I bought it used. Yeah. Um, it's I'm lovely. Absolutely lovely shirt. Keep your some underwear and then some gloves. So that's that's the bulk of my and, and that and that's an out I mean this is a this is a Walmart branded dry bag guy, so it works, right? And the one thing, I'm not, I'm not super smart on dry bags. You can spend all the money you want to. Um, but I went to the store and I felt them because I didn't need this to be the most dry. I wanted this to be splash proof, but I wanted this to be durable because yeah. this is just getting tossed around. All right. Then we have some toilet paper. So I like that. Uh, I really like the uh, Sea to Summit. Is this the, their actual toilet? Because they have, they have a dry bag little thing that's specifically for... I don't, toilet. I don't know. Okay, I, so this, it's, yeah, it's you, you would ones. know. So this is just a nice little Cetus Summit. It's the uh, four liter. It came in the same pack as this one. Four liter lightweight, and it's really nice to have dry toilet paper. So, 
two liter yeah. and and a one liter. Wet toilet paper being less desirable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little piece of tarp. Um, use I've used this for all sorts of stuff. So that's a, that's a part of a tarp, not a full tarp. Right. Because it, it, you've cut the, sections off or it, something. It actually delaminated. Oh, okay. But the, the piece, it's long and skinny, and it works for all sorts of things. Uh, then we'll get into this. Um, uh, 5,000 lumen flashlight. Again, and, and that as rechargeable. Show how it's rechargeable. So I got the plug up front, but you plug it in. And you got so he's, your, he's got he's able to charge it as he's running his car, and then you also have backup. Uh, right, and then this also will tell you as you turn it on um, where your I don't know if you can see that, but where your charge is on the little okay. lights, and then it's got a backup. That's cool. Fuel cell. That's cool. Then we got tape, duct tape, electrical tape, masking tape. I got a little one of these pull out lanterns. Um, this one particularly works great hanging in there, and then you can adjust your... Right, so that makes it more comfortable if you're spending the night. Do you guys throw a mattress in the back of this thing? Uh, last time we just used uh, an Ikea mat. The, the okay, little, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mats. Yeah, but so that a lamp like that makes it a lot nicer to spend the evening in the back of your truck. Right, I got some 550 paracord. And then, again, I told you this, but I think this is one of the most important pieces of kit when I'm truck camping or whatever. This is a Pittsburgh, so that's a Harbor Freight brand's little pump. Uh, other YouTubers have tested these things. It has metal internals, and these will come loose because it shakes itself loose, but if you have a little screwdriver, it works. Uh, pump your tires back up. Yeah, so you could pump up an air mattress. You could pump up, um, like, a boat, different things like that, and, th and then you're able to really fix a tire with some of this stuff comes with the little attachments but you can you can how much does that stuff. run it was it's forty dollars thirty dollars on sale okay i put on sale <laughs> all right then we got gloves i have all sorts of different types of gloves throughout the truck and tape measure there you go next we got some other sleeping options so cordage this is a uh, little hexagonal awning. It has little cords, so you so can this is going to give you shelter for it, rain. You can make it into a, a lean-to tent. You can make it into an awning, whatever. Double nest hammock. Another double nest hammock with straps and webbing. There you go. And then we have a boo-boo kit. I, one of the things I need to add to this, I got several things to add, but one of them is a proper trauma kit. So that being stuff like quick clot and um, especially tourniquets. But in here we have... Cotton swabs, band-aids. You can yeah. use this stuff for whatever. And then some make your life happier type stuff. So anti-diarrheal, some pain stuff, some uh, antimicrobial wipes. Super glue can be super useful also for all sorts of things. Some masks yeah. if you need to. Pain pills, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, same, same type of Gloves, yeah, perfect. Yeah, but this is more of a boo-boo kit and less of a, so a, the a, a kit, comfort kit, less right. of like tourniquets and, and chest seals and stuff like that. And I've used almost everything in here I've used. And then we have in here an so, ammo can. So it's got some ammo and some stuff that you might use yeah. on an outing. All right. So there you go. So guys, just leave a comment and feel free if you've enjoyed this video. To feel, I, I know that many of you will say uh, you've already commented all the things you feel we left out or that we should have. So if you haven't done that, comment what you liked, what you would change for you personally. Let us know. The goal of the Gear Tester YouTube channel has always been to produce quality video reviews on the topics of shooting, camping, and survival gear. I hope you found this video helpful, useful, or at the very least, interesting. If you like this video, I would encourage you to subscribe to the Gear Tester YouTube channel and make sure to hit the notification bell. If something stood out from this video for you particularly that you liked, enjoyed a concept or idea that you'd like to amplify, please leave a comment down below and make sure to hit the like button for this specific video. 
Over the last year, I've been working hard to produce a YouTube short almost every day. In the last three months, I've also focused on releasing a long form video once a week. If you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, you'll be more likely to see my content. I'm working hard on a new series that focuses on bugging out or getting home with a toddler. So carrying a little child on your back and all the additional gear and equipment that you need to sustain yourself as you try and get home or get to a safe area, not just in good weather in a backpacking situation, but also in situations that might require snowshoes and a sled so that you can carry additional gear and equipment. What's, what's interesting to me about this series is I care a lot about it because I have a little person that I love and care deeply about. And so I'm trying to perfect this, the ability to carry the minimum amount of gear and equipment with me so I can carry additional things like diapers and formula and, and shelter so that I can take care of this little creature that I love so much. I don't know where you're planning on traveling to or who you're planning on traveling with. May you and your precious cargo always arrive safely. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. This is the Gear Tester, signing off.